Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is David, aka The Auto Venturer, and welcome to a somewhat dreary morning. The sun's just rising. Uh, another local adventure today due to some scheduling conflicts. Wasn't able to go to North Carolina like I was hoping to, but uh, we still have a good show in store for us today. Ferrari of Washington is having their monthly show this weekend, and we have not been able to attend one in quite some time, so yeah, I'm gonna go attend it. They have a special car uh, gonna be unveiled today. So get that on the channel, see who, who else shows up because uh, there have been some great shows in the past. And to start it all, all off, we are going to, where else, but Katie's. It's in the area, it's local. It's always a great show to use as a meeting point to head out to other shows from. So. We're almost there. We're gonna take a quick look around, see what's anything special showing up at Katie's, and then we'll head to uh, Ferrari Washington early, get a good spot, and see what shows up. All right, let's do it. There should be some good stuff in store for us because I just had a V12 Vantage go by me the other way. Uh, the previous gen, not the limited edition, one that's currently out, which in my opinion looks nicer. Uh, I love the carbon vents that look like the uh, metal <laughs> uh, gesture but that just drove past me going the other way see my friend Harrison is here there's a Ford GT down there uh, behind a nice E36 M3 and behind that or in front of that is an M2 comp of course not the new one alrighty it's gonna be a nice cool morning there's Jeremy <laughs> the 101 R8, the Golf Blue 992 GT3 Touring, owned by my friend Han. Beautiful interior. The gold magnesium wheels and the yellow ceramic calipers. Porsches as usual. Now that is cool, because we usually see my friend Joe's yellow Lotus Elise, or Exige S. See one in white, looks really clean. What else? There's the Roma, a lot of 997s and 991s today. Like that one. Very nice. The SLS Vipers, that hood is massive on the Viper from the SLS. Vipers have a big hood too. But apparently there's something interesting just showed up. And I've been told it's interesting. I love that so much. Part 32, better look at the GT3. So what's so special yeah, about that Fiat? Just, besides, it, never offered it. Yeah. My dad was just in Italy and he showed me, he was at a, like some local car show they were having. There were quite a few of them there. I do like the trio of C1 Corvettes, it's pretty cool. Another Z06, I'm not alone today. SF90 up there. 944. So this is the car in question, the Fiat, not offered in the U.S. <laughs> a little funky looking car. Now, I don't know a single thing about that car, but let me get out of the way. Two 997s, turbos, like a fool. But I did see one thing I like. <clears throat> So designed by the powerhouse design company that's responsible for so many Ferraris and Maseratis and other beautiful cars to come out of the land of Italy. All badge there. I love the yellow interior. <laughs> so weird. It doesn't look like a real car. And the, the Mazda wheels don't help. <laughs> the big guys, Ferrari Pista. I haven't seen this, I have not seen this one in a very long time. So hopefully he'll be at the Ferrari show. We can get a better look at it. Another 996 Turbo. I love the yellow roll cage in there. Old Mustang down there. Another Turbo. 992 Cabriolet over there. Charger. Beamers. Tesla. Spree. 
These two, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't get more 80s than these two cars. I love the gold. M3s, C8s, ooh, 992 GT3. Cavalcade, SF90, we'll see him at the Ferrari show, that's for sure. 992 GT3. I like these more and more every time I see them. And it's a manual, I love the carbon roof. Lava Orange GT3, some more M2s. Looks like there's a GT4 RS down there. We'll check it out in a second. So I'm gonna make it gray C8. <laughs> Honda, quite a, literally a minivan. Oh, and a Turbo S. 992 Turbo S. And... Very nice. Incorrect, it's a Cayman GTS, but with GT4 RS body parts. And judging by the blemishes, it's tracks. Also judging by the wheels, it's awesome. Four row gauge, the wheels. Simplistic, but interesting. GT4-ish, I like it. That's really cool. Another old Porsche. I haven't seen this car in a while. Lou Nethis, Huracan Perf, by my good friend Kaz. Interesting he brought the Lamborghini out today and not the Ferrari, considering there's a Ferrari show happening. <laughs> and I just saw another Z06 in the back. And while that goes on, I'll catch up with him in a bit. Pista. I'm not sure he'll be going to the Ferrari meet, so let's take a look at it now. Love the carbon vents. <sighs> nice. Very proper spec, the black over red. Daytona seats, full carbon interior, of course. Even the carbon shields, very nice. The third 992 GT3 Touring. It's actually a very lovely spec. Silver, or gray on silver, tan interior. Very nice. I say the third one because I missed the other one. I'm trying to find it. it was a We'll hopefully see it before we head out. Wow, that is beautiful. We just missed the owner, but wow. It's been a few months uh, since I've seen this car. So gorgeous. Blue Nethys, I believe is what he told me the color was. And these forged wheels looking spectacular. But enough as a V8 Centennial a centennial uh, R8 V10. Uh, okay, there's something special about that one. I forget what it was exactly, but this is definitely the focus. The silver accented interior, all the forged carbon. So very nicely spec. But we're looking for GT3s, not Performantes. So let's continue. It may not be the touring we're looking for, but this will, this will have to do for the meantime. I did see this one rolling in and I'm glad I was able to find it. The 992 GT3, this one in chalk, as you can see, is from South Carolina, so it's not local here. But the magnesium gold wheels, the yellow ceramic brakes, and there's yellow stitching and accents throughout the interior to complement those calipers. The chalk paint looking fantastic on here. I'm not a big fan of chalk, which I know is kind of controversial to say how popular this color is but it does look good here with the gold and the yellow accents to really make the color pop. And then right behind it, a 991 GT3 in guards red, the SF90 over there, and I believe, yep, here comes Han in the GT3 Tour in golf blue. Very cool. Those two look really nice together. And then you have the M4 CSL. So cool, lightweight, faster version. I don't know too much else about it. It'll follow BMWs very well. 991 Carrera, Iceman and his Viola something. Huracan, there goes the 650S there. Love that V10, we see that car a lot though. The Cobalt Blue, Sapphire Blue, I think is what it's called. Probably got that uh, very wrong. 
familiar sight from our previous dealership tour. Glad to see this car is still in a new home. I love the carbon on this rather than leaving it to be plastic like most vintages have. And this yellow, look, it's kind of hard to see how good it looks in the cloudy weather, but it still looks very, very nice. I love the license plate advantage. So glad to see this is found a new home. Pretty fascinating to see all the cars that are here and then just across the street, an RS America, <laughs> just sitting over there. There goes the Calvacade Spider. Hopefully going to the Ferrari Washington show, the Turbo S, and not much else. Let's continue on the search. There it is. So unfortunately, I thought I saw the GT3 Touring that we were searching for, but it was just a, a regular Carrera. Nice, with a blue RA coming in. Maybe we'll check that out. But, so I can't seem to find it. I've walked around the entire lot so far. I think he just couldn't find parking. All right, again, too cool. But he doesn't seem like he could find parking, so we're not gonna search for it anymore. We're actually just gonna get ready to go here for the Ferrari show, get a good parking spot. I'll do like Rapid Blue ZL1. I'll leave the orange GSF behind me, nice. But I think that's gonna do it for Katie's. So let's head over to Ferrari. So on our way now to Ferrari, and behind me is a 964 uh, roof. I believe it's a turbo as well. I didn't catch a great look at it, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's too close to me to actually uh, for the camera to get a good look at, but I think that's still pretty cool. Completely missed it. I saw it coming in, and I wasn't able to actually get any video of it because, like the GT3 Touring, I had a trouble. I had trouble finding where it went. But who knows, maybe he's going to Ferrari and if that's the case then we can get a better look there. An eventful drive to say the least, but we are finally here at the Ferrari dealership. Should be able to get some parking. So got here early. Car leaving. Good morning. Good morning. I think there's a Porsche sneaking in that's gonna back in behind that, uh, or I guess in front of that Lambo right there. All right. So once he gets in his five, you just back in next to that Porsche. You got Take it. Him in. All right, and we are here. Just a couple AMGs. Oh, there's a British Racing Green Roma. I can't show that side because that's the uh, those are customer cars, so I can't. Uh, white SF90. So yeah, I can't show those um, for obvious reasons. But I see Jason's here with the Huracan. Some of the other Fredericksburg boys are here. So I see them trying to park. Now I get to embarrass myself trying to park. Uh, last time I was here for one of their shows, uh, parked here, and it was, yeah, it wasn't, it was, I made a fool of myself trying to park. I didn't hit the car, at least, thankfully, but gave everybody a few, like, a few good laps uh, with my, my spatial awareness skills. Despite this car having multiple cameras, it still took me, like, two minutes to park. Look at all these cars lined up for the Ferrari meet, and not many Ferraris have shown up, ironically enough, but that's going to change here in a bit. Ooh. Speaking of Ferraris, 296, I want to say it looks like blue Abu Dhabi, but the chocolate almost interior, very nice. We have everything from Corvettes, Lambos, Honda, NXX, Audis, Porsches, all the works. Loving this A12 GTS back here. I thought I heard something, but I didn't. The painted shields on this one, which is quite a pricey option, but it's still in my opinion, it's worth it. It looks so good. The dark red interior with the liquid silver paint. But behind us, although this is a cool little Ferrari. Nice. The Ventador Gen 1 on BBS wheels. We'll get over there in a second. But behind us here, we have quite the lineup. Except 90, the Cavalcade, which we've seen before. So I was right, he did, he did show up to Katie's, or to the Ferrari show. Monza SP1. One of the 499 Icona series cars. Very similar P color to the Calvacane, honestly. And then next to that, the one of 999, I believe it's one of 999, the A12 Competizione. The biggest, baddest V12 option. 
front engine V12 option from Ferrari currently. More lightweight, just like the TDF and the GTO before that. The Daytona seats, just so nice. The painted shields again, the carbon arrow blade, all the extra carbon arrow work. Just fascinating. These two cars sitting next to each other. Now, I do like the, as much as I do love the Monza, I also am a fan of symmetry. So the Monza SB2 is more my style than this, although still very nice to see nonetheless. So we'll depart from the V12s for just a second, at least the limited edition V12s. Head on into the showroom here. And a lot of the same old F12 brown leather back there, 48 spider. Yeah, actually, let's take a look at this spider's interior. Rosa Corsa over crema with the red accents, red stitching, and matte carbon. Very nice. Portofinos, Romas, nice Grigio, matte Grigio, A12 super fast. Nice Portofino here, the blue with the red. Another 296 S90. This looks very nice. The chocolate interior. And that's silver and all the carbon. And not one, but two, a set of Fiorano SF90s, which is actually a little bit cool. like the Grigio Silverstone, I believe that's what this color is. The silver livery. And then we have the Rosso something. <laughs> so many reds to keep track of. It's hard to remember which one's which. But this one also with the silver livery and the dark Quio interior Daytona seats. 90 carbon wheels on both of these with the Assetto Fiorano packages to get. Also, more lightweight. F12 Berlinetta right there again. Beautiful. More lightweight, you get this carbon spider or carbon fiber spoiler. No front lift. You know, it's more rugged, more track focused. And I think it pumps out a little more horsepower. Don't quote me on that. Still, quite the nice lineup in here. I'm gonna go check out the service bay and see what they got there. But unfortunately, I'm not allowed to film, so we'll be right back. We're gonna move on to the other side of the showroom now. Another Grigio A12 coupe, the 48 Spider. Love the silver or red, good color combo. A12 GTS, very, very nice. Two Romas with the red interior. And I've, we've seen this one before the blue Corsa FA Tributo Spider with the blue stitching. Such a nice stack with the silver wheels. I hope that when this sells, because it will sell, this is a hot stack, that it does stay local because I want to see more of this car and get better for this event. We've seen more cars show up. This is Novatech F8 Spider here. It doesn't have the body kit, unfortunately, but it doesn't have a lot of suspension and exhaust, a lot of little tidbits from Novatech. Another blue Corsa 48 Spider, the A12 moving up into position here. The Dakar, that's cool. 911 Dakar showing up. And a V12 Vantage right behind the Ferrari 48 Pista. And there's our friend John in the STO. This show is starting to pick up now, which is what we love to see. So nice seeing all these different shades of colors that aren't just red. This Pista. So I was right, thankfully. I thought he wasn't going to Kate, uh, Ferrari, but I'm glad we were wrong. There's the Dakar. And we got John on the STO. I never get tired of seeing this car. Hey, but more showing up. Another Viola Pacific Huracan, white 458 Italia. Love how nicely lowered it is. So clean. Good morning. <laughs> Show is picking up. So the show has just been getting bigger and bigger. Unlike the last few times where it's been kind of dead, more cars showing up finally. And thankfully, a lot of them are from Katie's. 
get a better look at these. The Chalk GT3, I just noticed had a red interior. Obviously, Iceman here with the Technica. See that a lot. So good. Oh, this guy's from. I realize I recognize him. I met him at the show in North Carolina that I went to. He still looks so good. A few more Ferraris have shown up. California 456M. Amazing. So we're seeing double quite literally. Pizza just showed up. Black poppy almost. As the pizza just down there. It's crazy. So this one is kind of reversed. No no shields and carbon front badge. Whereas the other one had a regular front badge and carbon shields. And even has the same Daytona seats on the inside, same red accents. Pretty funny. We were actually talking this morning whether or not that was the same uh, 48 Pista, and it turns out it's not. They're two different Pistas. And this is the first time I've seen both at the same show. There goes the Calvacade heading out. A12 super fast. There's the other Pista, the double. Look what we have here. This is new. The Faraday Scandal Huracan STO. The yellow accents look really nice on this car. So does the silver. I'm assuming this is a new car. Like just a... Oh no, it's from the dealership. Okay. This is really cool. Full yellow interior. Really complimenting. Really helps show the green on this color. It's so cool. This is from our friends over at Bentley of Tyson or Bentley of Washington, which we visited plenty of times before. This is must one of the new cars they just received. They do have quite a few coming in, so we'll be making a trip there in the near future to check it out. I don't think there's anything else too new down here. If there is, you'll see it. But that is so cool. I love this color. Very Lamborghini. And yes, the irony is not lost in me that I'm wearing a Lamborghini shirt at a Ferrari event. Uh, this is the only Italian car shirt that I have, so it's as close as I can get to dressing the part. So, before you all mention in the comments, I am aware that I am wearing the wrong brand to the Ferrari events. The last minute of arrival. A car we have seen on the channel once before. The blue swatters at Frau Berlinetta with all the tailor-made blue carpet accents, the blue leather with chocolate leather, and the yellow accents throughout. Blue carpet on the skirt again. Take the beating. You know, here on the third break with the rain light. Blue carbon. It also has the factory two-tone roof, which is a rare option that wasn't that wasn't selected very much. It's kind of hard to see the interior, but you can see trying to see the blue carbon that goes that just inside as well. There you go. Nice in the interior. This is definitely tailor-made. Yeah. One of the nicest specs. You can even see it's stamped in the leather, tailor made. Sheer beauty. We'll go around on the other side. This is one of the nicest F12 specs that I have personally ever seen. Even the back of the seats are blue carbon, blue carbon throughout. Everything just complements each other so nicely. I gotta get some photos of this. Just when we thought the show was coming to an end, blue Curacao, I want to say, or Tokyo Cyan, but it's not as bright. 765 LT Coupe, last minute addition to our party. There goes the doors, and promptly swarmed by photographers. That is so cool. That spec is amazing with the red, like the orange red accents out. 
and all the carbon packages selected. That is perfect. Literally a perfect spec. So the show is coming to an end. As you can see the lot is now pretty much empty. It's about time for us to head out. We've got those monsters well back there. One last look at those. So in addition to me knowing I have a Lamborghini shirt, my friend who works here saw this and was not okay with that. So <laughs> I got a hat. <laughs> I now have the proper gear to wear for this event now, for the next time. But that's going to do it for today. It was a great show. A lot of great cars, including a KD2 for once. Or not for once, again. And uh, yeah, until next time, guys, I'll see you all in the next automotive adventure. There's some great cars here. Let me know what you uh, thought was your favorite. Until then, time, be safe, and take care. Bye, guys.